Bammers, it's Brandon, your friendly neighborhood BAM tender, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Thirsty Thursday on Friday. So I've just started doing these on Fridays because that's really, we're working a lot lately and that's really the only time I have. So uh, I asked in our uh, uh, Discord chat over there, if you guys haven't, haven't been over there, you should definitely come join us on Discord, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, in the general chat, I put out today uh, for some ideas for franchises uh, to make a drink inspired from. And I was challenged by our very own Kevin, uh, one of the mod squad, to make a drink from Lupin the Third. Now, I'm not a big anime guy. Um, I didn't even know what it was, so I had to look it up and then found out that it was an anime. Um, if you've watched my videos, you've seen I haven't done a whole lot of anime uh, drinks, anime-inspired drinks, and I'm sorry about that. So I accepted the challenge. I did a little bit of research, read up on Lupin the Third. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, from what I gathered, it's about an international jewel thief who steals the world's most prized possessions. Right? Did I get that right? So. In order to come up with a drink uh, for this, I, I, I did a little digging and found that in, found out that in part three, uh, he meets a gorgeous American woman right at the bar, and he's in his uh, uh, disguise for the night as a bartender, and he makes her a mystery drink um, called the Revenge because she's uh, seeking revenge, right? So the drink I'm making for Lupin the Third is called the Revenge. Now, there's no recipe for this drink, um, but just going off of what it looks like, um, kind of look like an old fashioned. So I did a little bit of a, a twist on it, and uh, I'm using bourbon since the lady is American. I'm sure she enjoys a good bourbon. So I've got some bourbon here. Um, Bib and Tucker, uh, and I'm going to be using some uh, cherry juice from Maraschino Cherries, and I've got some uh, orange bitters. This is actually smoked orange bitters. So we're going to uh, make the revenge. So I've got three ounces of bourbon into my shaker with ice. This is just for you, Kev. I don't mind a good bourbon. I don't drink a lot of bourbon, uh, but this is a pretty good one that I picked up a while back. All right, so three ounces of bourbon. We're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of cherry juice, just to give it a little bit of sweetness because sweet American lady, uh, I'm sure she enjoys um, some cherry juice. Three dashes of bitters. All right. And then uh, we're gonna do, uh, and then we're just gonna shake it. So we're gonna shake it over the ice. Just to get it nice and icy. How's everyone's week? I'm really happy to be off. I do have to work on Sunday, which sucks. So I'm gonna enjoy uh, what time off I do have. All right. So shake in over ice. Oh, got my strainer over here. We're going to strain into our cocktail glass, give us a nice little pink color. There we go. And then we'll garnish it. How about we garnish it with a maraschino cherry? Can get one out. There we go. Bam. And a wedge. I don't have orange wedge, so I'm just going to do lime wedge for garnish. And there you have the Revenge. Kev, this one's for you. I say that looks uh, pretty spot on from what I saw of uh, Lubin the Third. Yeah, I mean, it tastes, it tastes great. It tastes like an old fashioned. So uh, if you guys want to try this out, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you, Kevin, for the challenge. Uh, keep them coming. Uh, I'd love to be challenged and, and come up with uh, some tasty drinks for you guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget, join us over in Discord. We're having, having a good time over there. 
Uh, anyways, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Don't forget to drink responsibly and bam on.